Next, I've got Aries. Aries energy, which I'll need to know. Ha ha, strength. So Aries is like the first sign of the zodiac. Is that primary fire energy. It's very like action oriented. And like I already said, you know, action is kind of the the theme deep down. And this is an eight card as well. Eights are, are heavy on the action. Um, strength is all about the action of integration. It's recognizing that we are both equal creature and equal higher self. We are, you know, a earth being and we are a cosmic being. We are both these things at once. You know, it's not about either or, it's both and. And Aries really needs to connect to their self in a total way. So recognizing that, yes, my impulses, my drives, my inspiration, I should act in honor of that. But I also need to develop a higher awareness, a higher perspective, and recognize that true quiet and true silence and true aligning to that energy will put me into contact with my inner voice, with my highest self, with the thing the version of me that sees beyond just what the animal nature desires and wants to, to make happen for myself and sometimes allows, allows this creature that kind of seems unruly to be like, to be subject to direction, to be subject to uh, self-discipline and, and, and personal authority. Recognizing that, you know, just because your internal fire says go this way doesn't mean Every single one must be honored without being checked. You know, you're the one in the in the zodiac that doesn't have to worry about not making moves, you know? Like you have to worry about your moves being more measured versus everyone else. They measure so much. They have analysis paralysis and don't move at all. It's very much the opposite for, for Aries energy. You have to recognize that there is a principle within you that's accessible right now at any time in varying degrees, depending on how much you honor what information it gives you, that can help guide you towards what will be mostly aligned for you, what will be mostly solid, what's the best foundation for you to build upon, and that's also in honor of who you are and is taking you know into consideration all the challenges that you've been through. That kind of energy is a more mature energy that is that's that's definitely difficult for for Aries to fully grasp onto. But if you acknowledge that that your impulses are are more aligned with the animal instinct and dr instinct and drive that that you can check more of your impulses through what do I want to be aligning with? What do I want to be serving? You know, what is the thing in me that I need to honor no matter what anyone thinks of it? And how can I control my impulses so that I'm not like just acting out of it feels good to act this way and I'm making sure that I'm directing more of my actions to be in service of what I genuinely see leading me forward into the future?